from day three on the Disney Dream. I can see Len, which means we are getting close to Cozumel. Um, really, that's probably not done an introduction for a long time. If you're new, my name's Ben. I love making Disney vlogs, um, and this is our first time on a Disney cruise. So, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe uh, to be sure to check out all the content. Uh, so uh, today we are docking in Cozumel. So we'll be getting off and uh, exploring Cozumel. No excursions planned. Just going to take it easy and chill. Uh, we also have pirate night tonight. But besides that, no plans. Just going to take it nice and easy. It's very strange having a chilled Disney vibe. Um, compared to the parts we're normally like, go, 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 go. There's Mexico. Gonna have to be really careful when getting back on the boat because. <laughs> da -da -da. That's the Disney Wish. Oh, Don't want to get on the wrong ship. But it's coming directly towards us. Turn away! Turn away! Pulling up to our dock or a jetty. Teeny tiny rope's not going to hold us in. That's a bit better. Here comes the Disney magic. Definitely didn't call it the Disney wish before. Looks like it's gonna pull up right opposite us, just down here. Oh hey Disney magic. Oh my god, can you imagine being like standing there and potentially falling out? All you got is that little tiny rope just holding you in. Oof, no thank you. Disney Magic, what have you got on your funnel vision? Can we guess? And that's where you're going. Any guesses? Leave it in the comments. Oh, that's good. You could sit here on the veranda and just watch. <laughs> but we ain't got time for that. We've got a Cozumel to explore. All kitted out, ready for our day in Cozumel. We're gonna go grab some breakfast. People could start getting off the ship 15 minutes ago. Uh, so it's nine o'clock. That we're not in a rush. Uh, so just gonna chill, have some breakfast, enjoy a quieter cruise ship. And you can hear the Disney Magic having their announcement saying that the ship's been cleared for them to get up. Before we get off, we've got some mail exploring, we're just going to have some breakfast at Cabanas. It's very busy this time. A lot of people would have had breakfast earlier to go off. No, it's busy. Hash browns, turkey, uh, sausage, bacon, Mickey waffle, omelette, scrambled egg. Fried egg, French toast, <laughs> yummy. Okay, now we're getting off the ship. I promise. <laughs> to get off the ship, we just had to scan our key to the world card. 
uh, I believe, but you've got your passport you need some ID to be able to get off at some point or at least get back on. So both the Disney Magic and the Disney Dream. Look at the size comparison between the Magic and the Dream. As we got, well, as we come along the pier, uh, they were asking to check bags, looking for fresh fruit and meats and things like that. Uh, although her checks weren't very Didn't even look at thorough, did she? Were they? They just like, yep, go, yep, go, yep, go. I think when you've got so many people, you kind of have to uh, do it quite quickly. Otherwise, they could be there for hours. No matter where you go, you can always count on the old faithful. Capitalism at its finest. Very strange because there's like very run down areas which looks like it's like loads of debris and things. But then you've got like really built up nice building just placed randomly in amongst all that debris and run down area. It's very interesting. Here's like it's got some kind of carnival preparing for maybe for Mardi Gras. There's a lot of people just trying to sell us everything. Excuse the sweaty brow. Just always flagging us down. I said, sir, sir, you come and look at my shop. No, no, thank you. I just want to go for a walk. They do, yeah, that's how they, how they make, make a living. living. Just give them a smile. Yeah. Carry on. We docked in Cozumel on a Sunday and before we came, there was very mixed reviews. Some people were like, oh, it's a Sunday, nothing's going to be open. But then other people were like, no, no, they'll open up because there's ships coming in. But I think we've seen a mixture of both. There's a lot of shops that are closed, lots of mm -hmm. bars that are closed. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it's not, it's because uh, it's like 10 a.m., 11 a.m. Um, and some of the bars open in the evening, but some of the shops aren't open. Surely they know that we're only here for the day. True, so but maybe it's just, they, maybe they just focus more on the locals. Mm, yeah. I don't know, but there are shops that are open. There are shops that are closed. Depending what you want, I'm sure you can find there's some supermarkets and things around. In 1895, a group of explorers discovered the ruins of a temple properly dedicated to the lunar goddess. Associated with birds and tissues, the site is known as Miramar, close to San Miguel village in the edge of the island's northern end. The left side column is sculptured in front with a relief depicting a human figure. The column, the capital and the figure are one only stone piece. Uh, it represents a woman resting on her knee, laying her back on the front of the column. Her hands are apparently folding her clothes. Today it is known as the La Vieja, which represents an old woman giving birth. I'm guessing this is a replica. what they always do the fishing on. Can't read it because it's in Spanish. Well, you've been doing Spanish. Go read it. I can't read that. Go read it. 
the navigation something no we can do a uh, Google Translate no, I don't want it in Latvian thank you very much English will be fine come on do some magic oh oh it's thinking about it some of it's there we go Vegetation is conceived as an activity that forms the cultural landscape. It is about the deployment of these strategies that made it possible to control a large biographical and social space abroad canoes. They transported materials, ideas, and even diseases and connected different regions of Mesoamerica for early, from early me. <laughs> these routes were used given during the Viceroyalty. I mean, not a great translation, but still a translation. So they used to live House dormitory. So the Myers used to live in plots of land, with the dormitory being the house in the middle. And you've got a water deposit there, a small raised garden. The underground oven. Despite the importance of healthy reefs for tourism, a small deep water pier was built uh, to dock cruisers arriving from various parts of the world causing irreversible damage to the reefs. Ah, oh, that's a shame. We're sorry. Due to the natural richness that surrounds the island, the Mexican government established Cozumel Reefs Reese National Marine Park, prohibiting any person from touching or eliminating any marine life within the limits of the park. Good. So they destroyed it, but then they put something else in to uh, combat any future damage. Hashtag Save Our Coral Reef. Oh my goodness, it's like a Disney nighttime show. All we need now is to set it against the Happily Ever After soundtrack. An advert for Rickling's chair and gum that says it's a handy refreshment for the sailor. It helps the teeth, appetite, and digestion. It's a bit homoerotic, if you ask me. <laughs> muscular men and their skimpy, skimpy tops. tops. <laughs> and that one calling out, hey, <laughs> do you want to go to the club after this? <laughs> I've got some Rickley's extra. Yeah. <laughs> Flavour last, you can try some. Ooh, interactive. I would like it to be in English though, please. What do I have to do? Uh, put the metal away, get it out of the way. Plastic? Oh, oh metal. Plastics. Glass. Oh no, flip flop. Metal. What's that, metal? Flip flop. Where's the flip flop go? Plastic. Plastic. Save the turtles. Saving, saving turtles. Oh. What's that one? The random. Yay! Gracias In Spanish. Thank you for your help. Of saving turtles. Yay! Oh! <laughs> Matthew! Yeah, that's not right either. Yes. There's only half a man. You've only got half, I've only got half of them. Yeah, no, that's not right. Flip it back. Yeah. Much better. Okay, enough educational content. So like you know a bit more about Weird a bit more about Cozumel now. I feel like I know a little bit more about Cozumel now. It's 
been blinded. Day to forget my sunglasses. Done our exploration of Cozumel. We're now headed back to the Disney Dream, not the Disney Magic. We're going to make sure we get on the right boat. I mean, that's the bigger one. So bigger is always better. First check when you get back onto the cruise is there's someone at the port entrance just asking to see your like key to the world card. I think my key takeaway for our day at Cozumel was to do research beforehand. We uh, arrived not really knowing what to do and only upon googling we found the museum to go to. So I would encourage you to check before doing it, plan something if you're not going to do one of these excursions. It was only when we discovered or doing a bit of research that we found out that like the, the beach is further down south and there's like a lagoon that you can go to which looks quite pretty um, and like a temple that you can go to as well uh, but they're all like 20 30 minute taxi drives away but if we prepared a bit earlier we would have known to be able to drive get a taxi um, rather than just kind of wandering for the first 40 minutes and getting off quite late so you didn't actually need your id or passport getting off or getting on but they did say that you needed to bring in our message, so I'm not sure what happened, but they just looked and scanned our key to the world card, checked our each pictures, and that was it. I'd make sure you still bring your ID. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. We come back to some Pirates of the Caribbean bandanas. Oh. Arr. Arr, matey. Arr, matey. Just sat here waiting for the fan before we go to the pool. I just found this thing moving outside my window. What is it? Matt's going to investigate. <laughs> So he's just doing the uh, some maintenance checks. Time to really start embracing the cruise life. Just quickly pop back to the room. Uh, I've got a massage now in 20 minutes uh, using the credits that I won in the raffle. Uh, went on the aqueduct but you can't take GoPro sticks in, so um, didn't get to film it, unfortunately. But got my chest strap, and apparently can wear that. So I'll go on again, and uh, hopefully we'll get the footage done. But um, before I go for my massage, I want to just go down and cancel my free consultation that I got from my fitness session I got her uh, went to yesterday. Can't remember if I told you, but I went just really, I think I had to tell you, uh, went just to ask for some professional advice. And he said, book a consultation to see if there's inflammation which is preventing fat loss or like when exercising. But I'm gonna cancel it just cause there's a lot of other things on at that time that I want to really do instead. So gonna do that go to the massage and I will catch you all uh, afterwards. I am relaxed, also in pain. <laughs> they, uh, well, uh, Karen was my monsieur and she was very lovely. Um, she did my calves, she used a bamboo stick and it hurt. <laughs> She was like, do you do, do you do a lot of the leg exercises? I was like, yeah, she's like, I can tell. <laughs> do you use the roller? No. <laughs> so I got told off for not stretching properly. Um, and then, so, did full Swedish, legs, back, etc. And then uh, flipped over, arms, chest, shoulders, uh, legs. Feel like I had an out of body experience at some point as well. Um, <laughs> It wasn't quite asleep, but I definitely wasn't aware of everything she was doing. Um, but it was very nice, very relaxing. Um, it was a sucker, I ended up paying for the extra oils. Uh, it was 18 a piece, so 38. Whole thing came to 
204 something. Uh, they add on 18% gratuity. They asked you if you, that, you're okay with that, and I said yeah. Um, so I tipped to round up to 210, um, and that was $75 off as well. So, it's Benny. Um, but, um, the magic has gone. Gutting, I really wanted to hear the horn off between the two ships. Luckily, my brother-in-law managed to catch some of it on film. <laughs> confused me when I came back because I was like are we sailing? Are we, are we gone? and I was upset because I missed the horn I was hoping they were going to have a horn off um, but no uh, and also I did dry cleaning or laundry service this morning normally say it takes uh, like two working days uh, one working day to come back that's the wrong switches so um, but they've returned it already um, with a nice little dear Mr. Slash Mrs. Benjamin because <laughs> you never know these days thank you for the opportunity to assist you with your laundry needs sincerely the laundry team uh, I had a couple of items that just had stains or like dirt, visible dirt marks on them two spare jerseys and a pair of shorts so um, a nice little suit bag so I can keep that um, so, yeah, I don't know where Matt is, um, but I'm going to shower and get ready for the pirate night, so we'll see you in a second. Time to set sail! because he recorded it here. Bye, Cozumel. And hello, Lucy. So we're off for a day of sea again before we land, dock in Castaway Key in two days' time. Which I'm very excited for. And until now, I'm gonna finish getting ready because it's pirate night. That's quite good timing there from Samuel Jackson while we were watching Captain Marvel. That nice little touches that they play like pirate music. Yes. And then yesterday they were playing Marvel music. It's superior stuff. So the theming of the evenings. Yeah. Days. So part of it was actually supposed to be tomorrow, but they moved it once we were on board. Uh, Rumour has it is because of the wind and they can do the fireworks show um, with, with high winds. So they moved it. So expected high winds tomorrow. Yeah. 
Apparently, I'm gonna rock you there, see then. Free time before dinner can only mean one thing. Characters. <laughs> to come back to get a battery but it is very rocky this evening just walking down those corridors and I'm like whoa, whoa, whoa. got my sea legs time for the deck show it's a bit windy up on the uh, deck windy, 12 a bit rocky a bit rocky yeah we are at the top for mickey's pirates in the caribbean show in 15 minutes they're getting ready for it. As long as we don't blow away first. Yeah. 
All these pirate sea shanties got me working up an appetite. Off to Enchanted Garden for our pirate meal. Pirate night dinner is at Enchanted Garden. New restaurant for us. Oh, lovely table. <laughs> the, the Pirates of the Caribbean menu. Special speciality cocktails. Appetizers. The mango dip for the bread and some Johnny cake for bread. Main course. Mm, and as usual, kids get their own menu. We're starting with the vegetable samosa. Matt's gone for crab cake again. But he has said that this is a better crab cake than the previous one he had. He did say that, so I've got on his recommendation this time. Lots of uh, lamb shank for everyone. Matt's gone for the jerk chicken. Which looks good. Oh, look at that. This is awesome. And time for dessert. I'm going to show you Matt's cheesecake tart. Because mine is damaged. Dinner done, family off to put the little ones in bed. Time for more characters. Decided to give the pirate buccaneers show a miss. Um, it was a bit windy and it's a bit chilly. So um, yeah, we spent some time and as you saw, got seeing Mickey and Minnie instead after dinner. So now heading back to our stateroom where we are going to call it a night. You know, doesn't feel like, we haven't done a lot today, but I'm tired. I think. Uh, oh, we had a, a walk around. We did do quite a long walk around uh, San Miguel and Cozumel. Um, and uh, you can see very drunk at this point. No, no, we haven't had any any drink. Uh, it's just the the rocking ship. It's very shoppy out there today, so it's very. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, but then I had my massage. I'm all relaxed and yes. ready, ready for uh, for bed. We've got a little. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. Penguin bird of some sort. Thinks he's a uh, the new Tony Stark with his Edith glasses on. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to tell him that it was Marvel night last night. And a golden queen! Oh! It says dead in the men tell no tales. But, so take my word for it. <sighs> Come join me little penguin friend. Uh, so, gonna call it a night. Um, hopefully you enjoyed our trip around Cozumel. And seeing our little uh, character meets. Uh, if you did enjoy what you've watched, remember to give it a like and drop a comment down below give me any of your favorite bits um 
And until next time, see you soon.